What's up, guys? Eric the Human here, your trusty pack beast with Jumpstart. I got more Jumpstart stuff. I'm so excited. Um, I went to Target, and they had Jumpstart stuff for a good price, so I bought it. And now I'm going to open it. Um, that's about it. Uh, if you guys enjoy this video, please leave a like. Um, consider subscribing as well if you like the rest of my stuff. And make sure to turn on notifications if you do subscribe because it helps my channel grow and it makes you know, it informs you when my videos are posted. Um, but with that, let's get right into it. All right, here we go. I'm so excited. So each one of these has four packs in it. And for the deal they had, it's like cheaper than anything I have seen at uh, online. Um, for four packs of, oh, I just tore the, the, uh, instructions. It's a good thing I know how to play jumpstart, but I'm not going to actually play jumpstart. That's so funny. That what they have the, I'll show you. They have the pull tab right here. Push to open. Okay. Then I grab here and open it. But like that just, if you do it wrong, you just ripped the instructions right out the back. Okay, but I'm very excited. Um, I would have bought in a full, basically they were selling these for like 17 bucks. So that was like normal booster pack prices, absolutely insane. And I was like, uh, yeah, I'll take four of those because I was only allowed to buy four. Um, they had a limit to how much you could buy. Otherwise I would have bought a whole, I just almost cut myself on my mic stand um i would have bought a whole booster box worth of these because that price was insane the only price i've seen that comes close to that is a retailer in the uk that's selling booster boxes for about 126 dollars um which is pretty good i think with free shipping so pretty good but yeah if i would have bought all of these for 17 bucks it would have been under that which is crazy um Obviously, it's a target. I would rather support a local game shop, but my local game shop that I went to, the one I like, doesn't have any, and the one that is okay sold me a booster box for $200. So, that's a big no-no. So, let's get started. The hunt for tiny bones resumes, everybody. It's back, and I'm so excited because let's see what we can get for the tiny bones. <sighs> okay, vampires. There is a $30 card in vampires. I opened up vampires once off screen before I started this uh, pack opening thing and it was this exquisite blood, I believe, is worth $31. So let's see. Vito. All right, not bad. Uh, so we got Vito, Silver Smoke Ghoul. Let's see if there's anything tasty in here. Type more, okay. Very cool land, as always, for the vampires. All right, not bad. Not a bad start. Definitely going to go into my jumpstart cube for sure because any packs that aren't worth much are definitely just going to go in there and have a fun little cube sesh. Legion. Yeah, this one's pretty boring, if I remember correctly, from what I opened last time. But hey, I'm opening packs and it's a jump start and there's possibilities of crater hoof behemoths and tiny bones and oh, glorious anthem. I'll always take more of those. Absolutely. Glorious anthem's very good. And release the dogs. I think that's worth like two bucks just because of the doggies. All right. And your, yeah, the cool planes. Nothing too special though. Nothing too special. We'll stack these like crisscross so I can remember exactly where they go. All right. Rogues. Okay. So I figured out that Tiny Bones is not in Rogues. He's in Discard. So I'm less excited about this. But I'll be excited because I just blew up my Rogues uh, deck, uh, Jumpstart deck for this card, uh, Thieves Guild Enforcer, because I had to put it in my Commander deck because obviously I had to. Um, so now I'm happy to have this back because now it has returned. And this is super cool land of like the Thieves Guild from Skyrim, like straight up. It's exactly that. Very cool. I'm happy for that. I'm, I'm, I would like a replacement 
uh, lands one as well because I blew up. I took Oracle Mobaya out of there. Milling this is a good card right here. Thought Collapse. Milling. Could we get Bruvac, the second most expensive card? Let's see. We got him. That's a big hit right there. Very nice. Very nice. So sick. Let's read him because I've never actually read his card in a long time. He's two and a blue for a 1-4 legendary human advisor. If an opponent would mill one or more cards, they mill twice that many cards instead. He's the brewmaster, or the mill master, I should say. Very cool. Thought collapse, yeah. What, what, what does a mill island look like? <laughs> it looks like your brain getting squished. That's pretty dope, though. Nice. Nice. What a hit right there. What a nice hit. I love Jumpstart so much. Jumpstart's my favorite. I want all of the decks. At least one of each. Alright. Whoop. Goblins. Ooh. Muxus? Could we get the Muxus boy? Could we? Last time my Goblins one was bad. Cranko, mob boss. I'll definitely take a Cranko. Alright. Two and two red for a 3-3 three, three legendary goblin warrior. Tap, create X, one, one ro uh, red goblin creature tokens where X is the number of goblins you control. Super cool. Definitely need that for a commander deck, but I might keep them in, uh, in, in this state. And then this, this is just a mountain made of goblins. <laughs> it's so terrifying. I love it. Nice. That's a, that's a little hit right there, I believe. All right. I forget. There's a lot of mini hits um, in the commons and stuff. Ooh. Uh, what's the dragon? that It's it's the dragon queen or something like that, I believe. It is the starts with an L. Yep. Lathless dragon queen. That's a mini hit, I believe. Four and two red for a 6-6. Six, six. Legendary dragon with flying. Whenever another non-token dragon enters the battlefield under your control, create a 5-5 five, five red dragon creature token with flying. And then it's got an activated ability of one and a red. Dragons you control get plus one, plus one until end of turn. Pretty neat. What else we got? Ooh, Gadrak. That double double rare. Two and a red, uh, two and a red for a 5-4 legendary dragon. It's got flying. Uh, Gadrak crown scourge can't attack unless you control four or more artifacts. At the beginning of your end step, create a treasure token for each non-token creature that died this turn. Very cool. Rapacious Dragon. Yeah. Furnace Whelp. Sarkin. God, Sarkin. Your, your powers are really cool. Ooh. That's a beautiful mountain. I love that. Still not as cool as the literal electric mountain from Lightning or Bolt or something like that that was like... A, a mountain made out of lightning. That was the coolest mountain I've ever seen in my life. All right. More goblins. Second chance at Muxus or Krenko. Muxus. Yes. We got Muxus. We got Muxus. We got Krenko. We got Death Star. All right. Muxus, Goblin, Grandy. Four and two red for a 4 4 legendary creature, Goblin Noble. When Muxus, Goblin, Grandy enters the battlefield. Reveal the top six cards of your library. Put all goblin creature cards with converted mana cost five or less from among them onto the battlefield and then the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Whenever Muxus attacks it gets plus one plus one until end of turn for each other goblin you control. Such a cool card. This is the goblin commander. Very cool. Oh, so happy I got him. I might have to blow up this deck and make a a crank or a, a, a another a goblin, a goblin commander deck because Muxus is so dope. He's he's just like you have to. Obviously, he's very good in a constructed deck, but like in a commander deck, oh, it'd be so much fun. Just be like, hey, remember, I can just cast this reanimated. Will we get reanimate? Because that would be quite good. Um. He's very good for Commander. All right. Nope. Rise of the Dark Realms. Seven and two uh, two black for a sorcery. Put all creature cards from all graveyards onto the battlefield under your control. 
I I just saw this um, when I was building when I was building uh, some commander decks online. I think this is good. This was in one of the decks. Ooh, carrion grub, very nice. Carrion grub is very fun. Meyer Triton, very good. Uh, Crow Dark Tidings. Whoa. All right. Oh, this is worth like two bucks as well, I think. I'm pretty sure. There's a couple lands in here that are worth some money. I think the most expensive is the Phyrexian one and then uh, the Doggo one with the little uh, Samoan. Well read. Ooh. Could we get the Ristic Study? The 32 hit? $32 uh, hit that would go immediately in my cycling deck because I'm too cheap to buy it? No. We got the Sphinx that I got before, I believe. Yeah, if you would draw a card while your library has no cards in it, instead put five plus one plus one counters on it. Eh, that one's whatever. This will be set aside because I already have this exact deck. But this island is very cool. All right, this one's gonna be set aside because I, I don't want to put that one in my in my uh, jumpstart cube. I already have that one. All these other ones are different, at least. Like, I've had reanimated, I've had goblins, I've had vampires, and the rogues one I blew up, so that's why. Why aren't you opening? Oh, is this the bottom? No, what the? What's going on? There we go. Um, but that's my first duplicate. Like, oh, Legion 2, I think. Enchanted, ooh. I think this I have as well. We'll see. There's been a couple I've had, but I've taken pieces from. Core Spirit Dancer. This is new, I think. It's plus two, plus two for each aura attached to it. Whenever you cast an aura spell, you may draw a card. Okay. Oh, the creepy kids. I remember this now. Faces Divinity. So I'll have to double check. I think this one I have already. Yeah, the Trusty Retriever. What does the Trusty Retriever do? Turn, yeah, okay. I might. Oh, that's beautiful, though. Love that. Um, I think this one I have already, but I'm not positive. I'll have to double check. Because if I don't, that'll go on my equipment slash aura deck that I just built. For sure. There's some good stuff in there. Spooky. <laughs> what are you going to have? What is Spooky going to have? Black market. Three and two black for an enchantment. Whenever a creature dies, put a charge counter on black market. At the beginning of your pre combat main phase, add black mana for each charge counter on black market. Whoa! Is that, like, really good? That seems really good. Whoa, that's crazy. I'm excited to see the... Um, there's the spooky guy. I'm excited to see the land. Damn. The, the helmet on that guy. Ooh, Wiley Beckert. Yeah, this art is beautiful. Love this. And more. Oh, that's beautiful. Love that. Okay, this is definitely new. I feel like that's got to be a hit. That seems very good. In decks that want it, I feel like it's very good, but maybe that's why it's not very expensive. Tree Hugging. Definitely have this one. I got duplicates of this one, if I'm not mistaken. But who knows, maybe I'm wrong and there's going to be a really good card right here. Yep. Oh, Saul of the Harvest. I have this card three times now. Fern Embrace. Uh, oh, interesting. Chant Creature. Enchant Creature gets plus three, plus three, and has at the beginning of each upkeep create a 1-1 one, one green sapling creature token. Uh, yeah, not bad. I've had this card for a very long time. I think this is new. Ooh, explore. Nice. I think that's a mini hit. Oh, yeah. I've definitely opened this before because it's the uh, treants. The trents. The trents of the world. Very cool. But I think that one's different. I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it with this one, though, just in case. Just in case I've had it before. Oh, I love Jumpstart so much. Vampires again. Can we get the exqu exquisite blood? The $30 card. I think it's $30. I don't know. Ah, uh, we got another veto. That's a duplicate. 
Yeah. Dang. Cool land, though. Very cool land. That's a duplicate. You're going just straight into the collection. Well, that'll be good when I um, eventually make... Because I made a Cleric's Commander deck, but I realized I have too many cards from Standard in it. So instead of... Instead of making a Cleric's deck for Commander, I was like, well, if I ever get people interested in playing Brawl, I'll be able to make a pretty decent above the clouds. I've never opened this one, so this one's brand new to me. I have no idea what's in this. Um, I can make Brawl decks, because I definitely have enough clerics to do that. Excuse me? Okay. <laughs> what the? That was weird. Uh, Anais the Gale Force. Three and two blue for a 4-4 four, four legendary djinn. It's got flying and an activated ability of two and hybrid uh, Azorius colors. Attacking creatures with flying get plus one, plus one until end of turn. Uh, whenever three or more creatures you control with flying attack, each player gains control of a non-land permanent of your choice controlled by the player to their right. Interesting. Definitely a commander card. Okay, anything interesting here? Oh, the rookie mistake. That guy's dead. Uh, I'm assuming very cool land. Yeah, that's pretty dope. That's pretty sick. Okay, that one's okay. We got two left. And I'm sad. But this is great, and now I know to go to Target, apparently, for my jumpstart stuff. Cats. Okay. I think there's only one cats, um, and so I think I, this is a duplicate for me. Yep, Feline Sovereign, which is good, though, because I can put it um, in my future Rin and Siri deck. So cats you control get plus one, plus one, and have protection from dogs. And whenever one or more cats you control deal combat damage to a player, destroy up to one target artifact or enchantment that player controls. Super funny, because cats wreck everything. And I wish their... Yeah, the Pride Malkin. I wish their... Um, their land was anywhere near as good as the uh, the dog land because this one you just have a big cat, and the dog one is literally a Samoan like chilling in a field <laughs> and looking all cute. I would much rather have a kitty cat like playing in the forest, but I'm not a designer. So here comes Tiny Bones though. I can feel it. Uh, predatory. That's definitely a duplicate. Unless. Nah, it's a duplicate. Momentous Fall. Ravenous Baloth. Let's see if we get anything good in here. Truffle Snap. Nah, nothing crazy. Beautiful forest, though. And this is definitely a duplicate. Okay, so... I'm going to check real quick on Donglare to see how we did. Um, I don't think we did that great, but I'm not opening these for... I can't Compared to my first Jumpstart video, which you could go watch, um, I don't think I'm ever going to do that well ever again. So I will be right back. You know what? We actually did quite well um, based off of my Donglare from December 9th. Um, I know packs prices are dropping like crazy for these. Um, the... Allosaurus Shepherd that was 107 when I pulled it the first time is now at like $83, so it's dropping like a rock. Everything else seems to be steady, but yeah, off of, I think I spent like, let me see, uh, yeah, I spent like $70 on these and definitely broke even and made some money. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please, please leave a like and comment what your favorite thing was. Um, comment what your favorite set is and maybe I can get a box of it for for the channel to open um, if it's reasonable I'm not going to be I'm not going to be opening like million like a couple hundred dollar well maybe sometimes um, but like six hundred dollar booster boxes I won't be doing that um, but I still have one Zendikar Rising booster box left that I will probably open and give away a lot of those cards because I have basically a full set of Zendikar Rising cards and I don't really need more than what I have. So 
if you guys liked this and you want to check out more of my stuff, please subscribe, turn on the bell for notifications. And um, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please stay safe. And whenever, what time this is, um, holidays and such, uh, I hope you guys are having a great time and you're staying warm and healthy. And if you need to stay indoors, stay indoors. All right. I'll see you guys next time.